want to share with you guys this Haviston NATO strap. My good friend Terry sent me to have a look at this and partly because um, it's no secret that I'm not of a huge um, well I don't wear NATO straps. I don't want to say I'm not a fan of them. I am a fan of them because the color combinations and the variety and being able to change things out I think is very appealing. Um, it's just not my preference. I prefer bracelets. But put all that aside, another reason I'm not a big fan of the longer straps, which most NATOs are, is because of that floppy bit and having to tuck it and everything like that and it's already so bulky anyway. So with this strap, it's um, a little shorter and I don't know the measurements exactly. I'm not going to go over all that. I just want to show you how this particular strap, because uh, Terry was right, this is kind of a NATO for guys that don't really care for NATOs. I don't know if that makes sense. And I'll show you. I'm going to throw it on this Jade Monster and I'm going to throw it on my wrist and then you'll understand why. Um, part of that, you know, this is um, raved about is the floating keeper here so you can constantly adjust that. Um, you know, another drawback, in my opinion, of the NATO is adding the thickness to the case. You know, you could lop that off or something. I know some people might freak out and be like, that's, you know, so bad, so bad. But if I were going to wear it and keep it and stuff like that, I would consider lopping that off and sealing it up or whatever so you have only the single strap. Because this is a really thick strap, too. It's actually kind of hard to even feed through here. So, because, um, I mean, the, the monster's got some room, so it's not horrible to feed through but this strap is thicker and it has like the a little bit thicker edging on it too which makes it wear a little softer so there's that part and like I said you could just wear it like that you know and lop that bit off and I know there's different techniques for wearing it too but I, I just do the traditional style like this so I'm gonna raise this up a bit like I said I okay so but it's because this is shorter. So I'm gonna take off camera here and toss it on my wrist. And I'm gonna show you that this guy is. Sorry, I had to do that off camera, but you can see usually when I put a NATO on a watch, it just seems so bulky, and it's because this top part it comes up and then you fold it back. With this one, you have this adjustable keeper here, and the strap is a little bit shorter, but yeah, it still catches it. And I have it um, a little loose. I mean, that probably could go a little bit tighter, but um, it holds in there fine. Uh, maybe a touch longer would be better or something, but it, I don't think I would have a problem with it wearing like that. Like it, I could wear this NATO. Like I could wear any NATO. Anybody could wear any NATO, but. I don't like all the big floppy bits over here, and I know that's part of the process, but it's not my preference. This feels more like a regular strap, and Haviston has some really cool color combinations. They don't have a ton, but the ones they do have are just really cool because they're multicolored, um, and I'm a big fan of that. If you're gonna, if I were gonna go this route, I would want the bracelet to pop, and I would want. Um, you know, most of these brace or these watches I have have some polished bits on them, because you can order these with the uh, polished or brushed brushed hardware, and I would definitely go polished just because I want that pop. I want the shiny bits, and I want the multicolor on the strap. So, and it comes with a nice tin too. You can use this for um, storing straps or however you want to store the straps. But you could definitely keep other things in there too, which is kind of cool. It comes with this tag. I'm not sure. This has some information on the back side, but and it has this. Uh, it has HAV, which is I guess abbreviated for the company logo. Very cool. A good high quality strap. If you guys have any experience with these, let me know. I didn't even know they existed until Terry told me about it and was like, "I'm definitely sending you one. You have to check this out." Because Terry already knew that I wasn't a huge fan of. Man, that looks pretty good on the Jade too, doesn't it? So anyway, um, I didn't. I was gonna bring the iPad out and show you their website, but I'll put a link to the website in the description. Um, I did look it up before I did the video, and they are listed for twenty-eight dollars and fifty-five cents. So that's also, I think, a really good deal for this quality of strap. It's. I mean, this is very robust, and it uh, wears great. Nice hardware. 
that floating keeper with the shorter length is just it makes like I said I I don't know how else to say it other than it makes it seem like a NATO strap for guys that don't really care for NATOs. So there's my quick little review on the Haviston.